Hello guys, welcome to Insel Electronics. So in today's episode, let's take a look at a USB charger, another one. This time by a company called TouchMate. Now TouchMate is a company that is popular in the UAE, in Dubai and other states. Normally these are not available to buy in India because these are actually sold uh, in uh, Dubai and UAE Arab countries basically. So uh, this thing is actually a pocket music player and it's named Zeno. So if you search for TouchMate Zeno you can find these things and this thing for example is a 1 GB model this thing is a very early model so it has a couple of functions that I will tear this down this thing has a failed battery this battery no longer works but if you plug in the USB it will still power up I shall make a separate video about this thing but not now so this video this time it's going to be about the original OEM charger let me keep the Seno uh, away safely so that's that done this time it's about the OEM charger that you can that you get with the Seno MP4 player right here so this is also branded TouchMate probably it is made by the company itself or it can be outsourced like made in China as it can it is it is said here it is made in China and also this one is also made the device itself is made in China but is sold in uh, Arab countries anyways so let's take this thing apart and see how good is a TouchMate Seno uh, USB charger and by the way if you take a look at the specifications it is rated for 5 volts at 400 milliamps plus or minus I assume plus or minus 5 percentage and that is the official website for them TouchMate PC and that's the website the same website for them also touchmatepc.com and yeah that right there is a model number for this one TouchMate MP4 player 1 GB uh, Zeno that's the expansion for that so let's see how good that was a really easy start how good it is I'm clearly seeing some goodness right out of the box the good thing about this charger is that it has a dual color LED right here as you can clearly see if I plug this in let me show you before taking this out if I plug this in and turn it on it is now showing green that indicates the green state indicates that the battery is fully charged now when you connect a load I don't have a tiny load right here let just just wait a minute I'll be back okay here I'm back so if I plug it a load USB load you can see it changes its colors to red that means it is now charging the device right here so when it is fully charged it will turn green back again so it has some it has that uh, charge state indication feature built in so let's see how it is done inside so uh, and you can clearly see a date code right there so it is uh, it is made in 2008 you can see you can clearly see it is made in 2008 that is 08 right there so it's it's like more than eight years old this entire thing right here at that time one GB memory for songs was a really great thing this thing can even play videos and even games it has games so I shall make a separate video let's let's just move this one let's just I have to be really careful with touching these things I can yeah this is the secondary side I can safely touch here I have to be really careful because I had an incident recently when I take when I took apart a DVD player and it gave me a surprise and no surprises this time finger just nope so that is what is inside as TouchMate Seno MP4 players USB charger it has a conveniently enough USB charger right there so if I plug okay I don't have it right now so it is a two transistor model so obviously it uses feedback it is a 13001 transistor as a switching transistor and 94 c945 so this is the auxiliary transistor that is used to turn this one off 
and 13001 it's very very common switching transistor and the size of the transistor transformer here is really small you can see the part number right there it says Gino Gino Jing Chinese of course so uh, the size of the transistor really I mean the size of the transformer is really small of course it can be justified because it is only rated for what 400 milliamps and I think there is no point of testing whether this can handle 1 amps of current because yeah but we will do that anyways so the circuit operation will be really simple it it is only single it's only halfway rectifier there is no full bridge rectifying rectification going on that is the case with all the cheap chargers they don't bother about full bridge rectification on the electro booms category like full bridge rectifier <laughs> I'm a huge fan of him anyways so uh, see if you take a look at the board itself you can see they clearly have the option for a full bridge rectifier see and it even has the option for a fuse right there a fuse or a fusible resistor it has the option but they just left it unpopulated they were trying to save some money so they just went for a single diode you can easily swap that out for four diodes and you get full wave rectification then it of course this has to be a green black silver so it has to be a fusible resistor so it's a 5 ohms resistor right there and uh, uh, then the output goes to the capacitor it's a 2.2 microfarad 400 volts made by a company called Jack and of course then it's going straight to the to this transistor it has to go to that yes and this resistor right here there's a 100k ohms resistor right there and that resistor has to give has to be connected to the base of that one yes it is so that gives the initial starting current and I'm seeing a tiny little capacitor right there probably for uh, that is across the feedback windings okay so uh, okay so the auxiliary windings that is the auxiliary winding so uh, yeah it uses the two way switching it has the center diode right here is it a 4148 yes it is a 4148 so it uses the has to use a uh, low LU resistor to measure the voltage drop across it basically when two transistor models are available when you know an SCBS is built with a two transistor model it can be turned off in two ways it can be turned off using the opto isolator and also by a sense resistor on this side you know when the primary when the if it device whatever device connected here tries to draw more current it is going to create a certain amount of voltage drop across a sense resistor on the primary side which can then be used to turn this transistor on and when this transistor turned on it will actually pull down this switching transistor that way output will stay at a uh, you know, much safer level and also if the output voltage goes above certain vo voltage which is usually defined by the center voltage right there it will trigger the optocoupler and that will initiate this transistor being turned on which will in fact in effect pull down this one again so uh, that is the another way of protection uh, of this thing basically that is how it's regulating the output voltage at 5 volts to be said and on the secondary side there is nothing much going on there is a probably a 1 and 4 0 0 0 nope it's a 1 and 5a so it's a short key rectifier ri diode right there and then it goes to a capacitor yes it is going to a capacitor and then it has the tiny little resistor over there to give enough power to that LED and this is a 5.1 ohms resistor right here so 5.1 ohms resistor in that resistor is connected in series yes that resistor is connected in series with the output so the way this thing works is really simple because actually my battery was getting low so I have to charge plug it in that's why I just went up so uh, the way this thing detects whether the battery is fully charged or not is really simple because all it does is sensing the voltage across this resistor right here let's say you have nothing plugged in 
or, or let's assume the battery is fully charged or there is nothing plugged in as you just saw when I first turned it on if there is nothing in here it turns on the green light and also that is the same case when the battery is fully charged it turns on the green light so how does it do that it's because when there is nothing when there is no current being drawn from the output port there is no voltage drop across this resistor sense resistor so when there is no voltage drop across that resistor it will not activate the transistor so when the transistor is not activated the, it is connected in such a way that the only the green LED is lighting up so when some when someone tries to draw a current when a load is attached it will draw a current and that current draw will actually create a voltage drop across the resistor that voltage drop will in fact it may turn on or turn off the transistor I think it will turn on the transistor so that when this transistor is turned on the green LED is pulled down and the red LED is powered up via this transistor so that indicates when there is current flowing through this that is indicated by the red LED so that's how they are sensing the presence of a load or a fully charged battery right here so it's a really simple circuit very simple circuit in fact so it's good in fact if you take a look at the separation let's, let's just take a look at the bottom side if you take a look at the separation let's see they actually have uh, made a anti-tracking slot right there where the closest point uh, are on the PCB it's across the optocoupler right there so if, I, if you measure it we can see the separation is around half a millimeter like half a centimeter but because of that anti-tracking slot it's going to be really hard uh, it's really it's really good right there so otherwise the separation between the other points is basically this is the other point and it's also like five millimeter half a mill, uh, half a centimeters so it's really good in fact uh, by the way let me show you something see have you see did you see that thing right there let me get my voice have you spotted that one before like let me focus on it let me manual focus on it see that piece of wire right there I just noticed it see that wire it is not it right it is actually it's not see it's flapping around in the breeze and it okay so it was actually a leftover piece from a component they actually didn't bother to actually take that piece away what was that component it was a jumper wire that jumper wire and it was sitting like that it was actually it can create a short circuit because that will touching those two will not do anything because that is what the jumper is already across but if you touch this one that is going straight to the positive side so that would have been created a local short circuit I mean what see that is actually left over from a not properly chopped component see I can easily take that down see now it's fine man initially I thought it's going to be really good circuit but that single issue maybe the person who did tested this one was so lazy he just didn't bother to see that anyways now I'm going to test this thing just because it is having a USB port we can test this thing of course there is no point of doing it because it is only rated for 400 milliamps anyways but still it's having a USB port we have to test it so I'm going to put this in back in its original casing let's do it in all its glory so uh, come on get inside okay I'm going to pause and I'll be back once I get that in okay so now the charger is back in let's plug it in and let me take out my USB measuring USB test kit right here it is a USB load and uh, a USB charger meter which I made a video about you can check that out I will attach it in the description and on the i button up there so let's plug this one in and see the voltage is only around 4.79 that indicates it is it may sense it on the primary side 4.9 volts yeah fine 4.9 and I'm going to plug this in currently it is in one amp mode and I'm going to plug this in and see what happens 
it instantly turned off it is instantly it's not even it's not even registering usually sometimes when the chargers are plugged in it will show somewhere around 3 volts right here but this thing cannot handle even 1 amp so it is actually turning the entire thing off see just like that it is not it is not happy with that so anyways that's it that's it for the touchmate seno mp4 players original charger thanks for watching see you in another video